completely off so you don't chip a tooth while you're shoving it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's 38 will be designated for all those that hate it like chess. Man, I'm contemplating your moves. You lose now. Your hot you gave me new moves. More dudes now. The top you made me same rules. New food now. The Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. I'm Van, and we are all the LFR family. And if you're not already with the LFR family, I'm gonna need for you to hit that subscribe button right there, Jack. Hit that thing. All right, we're about to check out some uh, Ron White. As y'all know, Ron White has been very good to the channel. 14 foot grizzly. So yeah, um, I want y'all to let me know what y'all think, and also hit the like button for. Me. And yeah, let's get it popping. All right. So I was in Alaska last year. I heard the most amazing story I've ever heard. This guy Look at in Alaska Ron last hair. Year kills the biggest grizzly bear ever killed in the history of killing grizzly bears. Pretty big deal. Uh, this bear, when it stood on its hind legs, was 14 foot tall. Two foot, three inches bigger than any bear ever seen by man. Uh, to put the scale of this bear into perspective, I mean, I'm, I'm six foot two. That's two of me and then more. <laughs> I worked out the math before the show. <laughs> to put the scale of this bear into perspective, a 14 foot tall grizzly bear could walk up to the average single story house and look over the top of it. Wow. If your pool was bigger, I would take a bath. <laughs> I've decided to eat your pig. Or whatever a giant bear might say to himself, were he looking over the he top said, of your I, house. I would, I would eat your pig. <laughs> and you had a small pool. <laughs> and a pig. <laughs> he was killed by a forest ranger who was just out in the forest, rangering. Ranger in. <laughs> and what wanders into the clearing but a 14 foot tall bear. It's hibernation season. The bear's got to eat. It's got to go to sleep. He decides to eat the forest ranger. This guy pulls out a seven millimeter magnum pistol, shoots this bear seven times. Bear keeps coming. This guy has the presence of mind, folks, while backing up to reload this pistol, shoots the bear seven more times and kills it. I would have just curled up into a little ball and prayed the bear just wanted to fuck me. <laughs> I'd have been going, I hope I give a good blow. Oh my gracious. All right. <laughs> what? He would have curled up in a ball and hoped the bear just wanted to F him. <laughs> what? Okay. Low job because we're about to find out right now. <laughs> and then. And then. As if that's not enough. They examine the bear, and in its massive breastbone, they find five slugs from a 38 caliber pistol, and then inside the bear, they find the gun and the guy that shot it. <laughs> he was a missing hiker. He's not missing now. Not at all. This was lunch. Folks, if you ever wander into grizzly territory with a 38 caliber pistol to protect yourself with, do me a big personal favor and take just a few minutes with a big metal file and file the front side of that pistol completely off so you don't chip a tooth while you're shoving it in your mouth. Because <laughs> <laughs> you might as well have brought a can of off. Not even deep woods off, regular fucking off. Which is what they should have called deep woods off. If they'd have called it fuck off, I'd have bought three cases the first. I like that. I like that. He said if they would have called it F off. <laughs> this dude is dope, man. I, I like I like Ron White. I don't care. Some of y'all might not like his humor. I think he's absolutely hilarious, bro. I, I think he's a down-to-earth dude, for real. I think if I did comedy, I would do comedy like him. Like, he looks like he enjoys it. He looks like he's comfortable. 
He looks like he's in his element, like he's in his own. He puts in work. He goes to the gym, and he puts up free throws all the time. That's why I'm by always being out there on the, on the road doing comedy. Shout out to Ron White. Which is what they should have called Deep Woods off. If they'd have called it a fuck off, I'd have bought three cases the first day. I didn't... The fuck off me, you know. <laughs> what wanders through your mind when you realize your last line of defense against grizzly bear attacks doesn't work? There's nothing you can do. You can't outrun this bear. You can't outclimb this bear. The only recourse you could possibly have at this point is to shit your pants to make yourself taste bad. <laughs> And pray the bear licks his food before he eats it. <laughs> oh, that's flat, nasty. <laughs> and then they call it a crazed man-eating bear. Well, why don't we just call it a bear? It's just a bear. The old bear, too, man. He was 37 years old. That's old for a bear. He's like me, man. He stove up. He ain't fast like he was when he was young. Do bears age like dogs? I know, I know dogs could be, like, um, could be like one year old, and you'll be like, mm, they're seven. I never got that. What is that about? I never got that about dogs. What is that about? And why are dogs afraid of cats? I thought dogs were supposed to be bullies for cats. I thought cats was afraid of dogs. I've, I've been learning a whole lot, bro. I used to watch Tom and Jerry and all that back in the day. Okay? He's like me, man. He stove up. He ain't fast like he was when he was young. Still got to eat. He looks down one path, sees a deer running 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> looks down this path, sees some Nimrod listening to Fleetwood Mac on an iPod. <laughs> I wonder how fast that thing can go. Boy, that guy gave such a good blowjob. I'm sorry, I ate him now. He said that guy gave such a good blowjob. I'm sorry, I ate him now. <laughs> what the hell? Why are they out there blowing? Okay, because he did say that he will be so afraid of the bear that he will end up giving sexual favors to the bear so that the bear would not eat him. <laughs> oh, man. Per usual, man, I want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing y'all on the next video. And hopefully, some of you join the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing. Love y'all. Bye. And happy holidays. Cause this 38 will be designated for all those that hate it like just man, I'm contemplating. Your moves, you lose, now your hot you gave me new moves, more dudes, now the top you made me same rules, new food, now the